Hello chess friends. In this chess lesson we will talk about endgames bishop versus pawn. Bishop belong to the group of minor pieces, so bishops and knights are minor pieces, and queens and rooks are major pieces. The main difference between endgames major piece versus pawn and minor piece versus pawn is who is playing to win and who is playing for a draw. In the endgames major piece versus pawn, usually major piece is playing to win the game and the pawn is fighting only for a draw. But in the endgames minor piece versus pawn, it is completely opposite. Minor pieces, bishop or knight, are trying to make a draw in the game because checkmating using one single minor piece is usually not possible. And the pawn is fighting to win the game. We are going to see just two examples in endgames bishop versus pawn. This is the first example and obviously it must be white on the move because it, if it is black on the move black will play king b7 and the game is immediately drawn. Because simply if either king is in front of the pawn or bishop is able to control any square in front of the pawn the game will be immediately drawn. But in this game it is white on the move and white plays king a6 trying to support his pawn and to try to promote and win the game. Now maybe the best move for black is a little bit hidden but there is nothing better than simply play bishop e7 to try to control b7 square. Although black's king stands in a way this is still easy to make draw for black regardless to what white plays now. If now white plays king a7, now any king move beside terrible king d5 move loses the, actually draws the game, only king d5 loses the game. If king d5, then simply b7 wins the game. But any other move, for example king b5, is easy draw because when white plays b7, black will just capture the pawn and the game is drawn. If white plays b7 now, trying to promote immediately, now king c7 move is achieving two goals with one move. First goal is controlling the promotion square, and second goal is opening the path for the bishop to capture the pawn on b7. So now white can do nothing, and when white plays king a7, black will again capture the pawn with the bishop, and the game is easily drawn. This is our second example. Here again white is trying to win and black is hoping to make draw. We see that black has dark squared bishop and that the only square which is dark square in front of the pawn is this a7 square. Black's king is far away and obviously cannot help. That is why white wins in this game because white will be able to stop black bishop controlling a7 square. The best move is of course king e4 controlling this e3 square so now bishop cannot go to e3 and control a7 square. If now black for example plays king e6 then just a6 and bishop is too slow to try to go to a7 White promotes and wins the game. And if after king e4, black plays bishop h4, now aiming to go to f2 square and to control a7, but again white has excellent move which will stop all black's ideas to go to a7, simply king f3, and now white easily wins after bishop e1, a6, it's not possible to control a7 square and white wins the game. That would be all for this video chess lesson. If you like this lesson, please click on like, share or subscribe to my channel for more videos.